Hello guys, welcome back. One of my subscriber asked me to create a video about Vicuna model, how we can run the Vicuna model in CPU machines. So in this video, I will show you what Vicuna model is in brief, and then we will use the Llama.cpp port of Facebook's Llama model in C++, which helps to run the large language models. And then I will use the quantized version of the Vicuna model from Hugging Face to do this. It will be a short video, but within five minutes, you will be able to run the Vicuna model locally on your CPU machine. I am on the GitHub page of this fast chat. They have said that Vicuna is an open source chatbot impressing GPT-4 with 90% chat GPT quality. I will not go through all the information here because I will just go through the blog post for now. If you click the blog post, you will reach to this page. What they did was they collected the user shared conversations collected from the shared GPT and then fed that into the Llama model, meaning that they fine-tuned the Llama model and the preliminary evaluation using GPT-4 as a jaw shows that Vicuna 13b achieves more than 90% quality of OpenAI chat GPT and Google Bard while outperforming other models like Llama and Stanford Alpaca in over 90% of the cases. That's quite impressive. First thing first, we need to clone the repository here, right? So you can just copy from here, go to your terminal, create some folder, and then just type git clone and then control V. I have already done this. It will clone the repository. And then after you clone it, you can go inside the repository. So this is the repository I will go inside here. What I recommend you to do first is create a virtual environment. For that, you can type virtual env and dot venv. After that, you need to activate the virtual environment. So for that, you need to type source dot venv bin activate. So if I run this now, you can see that this new thing appears here, lam under cpp. That is how I have configured my terminal. But for you, it should show something in front of the terminal saying dot venv, meaning that your virtual environment is being activated. So after this, you will need to type make command. As you see in the documentation of this lama.cpp, if you scroll all the way down here, this is what we are following. You need to first clone the repository, go inside the folder or repo, and then run the make file. Next thing, we need to download the quantized version of the model, right? For that, we are going to use the hogging face library. So if you go here, HRDI has created this quantized version of this Vicuna 13B 4 bit. Here it actually says that it needs around 10 GB RAM. If you have less than that, then you need to go with 7 billion version. So for us, we will go to this files and versions, and then we are going to use this latest version. As you can see here, it is six days ago. If you go to this download icon, copy this and copy link address. You can directly download this and save inside the model folder. But for us, we will go inside the models folder. Then we'll get wget and we'll paste the command here. If I run this, it will start downloading the particular quantized version. As it says here, it takes around four minutes for me. I will get back to you once this is done. As you can see here, it took around five minutes and 33 seconds in my machine. Now you can go one step back. And you need to run one command now. There is different ways to run, but I will show you one way to do this. If you run the command that I'm showing in the screen, and if you run enter, now you see that the model is up and running. So it says all the different things here. It says human and instructions, resampling temperature, and all these things. You can set it. And now it says here is the icon. And now you can ask the question to the model. Let's say, hi. How are you? I'm not going to ask many things, but just to show you that it works locally in your personal computer. Okay, it says I'm good, just working a lot lately. How about you? And then it is asking us to ask the more questions. So yeah, this is how you can easily install the Vicuna model locally in your machine. Let me know in the comment section if you were able to run this locally or not, or if you have any problems. I can also help you in the comment section. I hope you like this video. If yes, please give a thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed, please do so. Thank you for watching and see you in the next video.